Speaking of that, we were, we were talking about this after our, our last video. Can you use the ejection charge of the motor along with the dual deployment altimeter? Is that a good yes, thing? Yes, yes, and I would highly recommend that people who are starting off uh, in this process uh, have a backup. In fact, um, I did a project with some students at, uh, at NASA this past spring, and NASA insists that every rocket that students build for, for a student launch initiative have a backup. And it just makes sense, especially when you're starting off on this, to use the, uh, a, a, a motor ejection charge that's calculated to, to eject the drogue uh, a second or two past apogee. Um, so that you have you have a drogue backup um, in case in case for some reason you you've not set the altimeter up uh, uh, correctly you've got a couple of electrical lines crossed uh, whatever the reason or like uh, what, what we had where we had a, a wire that broke off right so that gives you the drogue at least is going to come out that way it's still going to come down hard but it's a lot safer yeah you don't want uh, I've seen uh, a few uh, of these dual deployment rockets come in with no recovery at all, and that gets very dangerous. So you want to have uh, uh, some type of backup. Most, for the larger rockets, you, you have basically two altimeters or an altimeter and, and an electronic timer. You can buy a simple, a simple uh, electronic timer for high-power rocketry uh, for, that, will, that will just act as a backup okay that's good okay so that's that's the setup feature now the data logging feature can you show us that okay we're just going to exit out of that and pull up the download data setting we've got vo device connected and we're just going to read the data from the, uh, the altimeter it's currently uh, downloading all of the data. If you, if you turn the altimeter off, it, the data stays on the altimeter, right? There. Yes. Okay. So you can actually fly the altimeter, bring this home, and then hook it up to your PC at home. Right. Now I'm just going to click on the select and close button, and that gives us um, b the, uh, there's a green, a green line here that's uh, represents velocity and then the red line represents altitude versus time and then there's a red bar here that indicates right after apogee you have the deployment circuit um, activated and then as the rocket gets down to 150 meters you have the secondary uh, the main deployment okay so that's basically uh, about data logging, and that's basically all you're going to get. And you can export this data to a spreadsheet? Yes. That, uh, you, that will, um, the data actually looks very good in, in an Excel spreadsheet. You can, we have exported uh, the data to um, Adobe uh, Illustrator and uh, created uh, some really nice looking charts in Adobe Illustrator using, using this kind of data. Okay, so that basically sums up the altimeters. Is there anything else that you want to tell us about altimeters? There are a couple of safety issues um, involved that I'd like to mention. Well, one in, in, in particular, and that is um, if you do have a, uh, a deployment failure, uh, say your drug parachute comes out or your main and, and the other parachute doesn't come out, and you, you have a, a landing and, and you're, you've got children all around, usually there's a lot of kids at a launch, you do not want to have any kids going to, to pick the rocket up because you have a live black powder charge there. Yeah, that's a good so idea. That's, a, that's a very important safety issue. Okay. Well, Jeff, on behalf of the uh, viewers here, I would like to thank you. Uh, you. You've given us a wealth of information here about dual deployment. Uh, and you've greatly simplified it, and uh, I, I'm excited. I'm going to use it uh, myself more often. <laughs> and uh, thank you again, Jeff. And uh, to our viewers, uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.